All right, folks. My favorite eating fish right here, mangrove snapper. I'm gonna show you basically how I love to clean a mangrove, and then I'm gonna show you how to clean a grouper as well. I start off with them basically face up, facing me to the right. So that means his bottom's on my left, his uh, top is on my right. And what I'll do is make a first cut right in, right on that top dorsal fin right there. And if you got a good sharp knife, you just follow that line all the way down to the tail, turn your knife around and come right up as far as you can to the top of the head. Keep going down until basically you can feel that spine right there along with your knife tip as it runs along there. Put your finger up in there, spread it apart, and then you can really feel that backbone as you go down and make that cut. Come all the way out there to his exit port right there and give it a little tilt down because there's a lot of meat that's right in here and here that a lot of people miss because they'll come over straight across and they cut a bunch of that meat out. But I, I kind of angle my knife down a little bit and it goes right along these bones right here and makes a perfect filet. Flip her over. And this here is a little bit of a tricky part. You just gotta feel your way through the top of these bones right here, right down to where you made the cut right out there in the exit port. And you get a perfect filet, just like that. Ready to skin up and go to town. And if you saw what I did here, I didn't do it like I wanted to. <laughs> but do the same thing on this side right here where you bring it up all the way to the top of the head, pop it out, come along back on this side. And all the way down to the tail. And don't cut yourself. And same thing. You feel that spine right there along the tip with your knife on the inside of there. And you just follow that backbone all the way down. Once again, pop it through come all the way down. Take his head off as far forward as you can. Make the cut all the way down to the exit port right there. And just kind of work right down those bones. See those bones right there working straight down those. And you can come back in and, and trim anything out in there that you need to, but perfect filet of a mangrove snapper. You can basically see right through there. Make a cat cry. And that is how you clean a mangrove snapper. Alrighty, the old Gaglione grouper right here. First thing I like to do with these guys while I got them sitting out is almost the favorite part the best eating out of any fish in the entire planet right here and that's his cheeks a grouper has really really strong jaws so they have a big muscle right here in their cheek now you make you cut from your eyeball around to the around back down to the bottom of his jaw and you can feel the bone in there as you're going by i come and i make a little tiny cut in between the grouper cheek and the meat right there and just give it a little fold and that way I can pinch that skin and you just kind of get that started like that. Kind of saw on it, don't put a real ton of pressure on there and what happens is, is it exposes that cheek right there. And once you get that cheek exposed, it's real, real easy to cut out like this. And if you've ever seen grouper cheeks in the store, that is a grouper cheek. It is the best morsel of fish I think there is on the planet. Now I'll show you how to fillet them. Let me get this other cheek out. Start at this end, I'll start right up here at the eyeball. And all you're doing is just peeling the skin back away, away, from, his, away from his cheek, down to his jaw, back around this way. You see, all I've done was made a cut from here all the way around just to get that cheek out. Give it a little tiny slice, you can start sawing along it. Give it a little slice. And it exposes that cheek meat right there. And I tell you, if, if you've never had grouper cheeks, you ain't never had fish.
and it takes some practice getting them out. You're not gonna do them perfect every single time. But I mean, people say, oh, I don't waste my time on a grouper cheek. It takes too much time to get it out. But I'll tell you what, if you had a scallop that big, you'd fight over it, wouldn't you? <laughs> but that is, a, uh, that is a perfect grouper cheek. Now we have five fish, so we got 10 grouper cheeks. That makes a pretty good meal. Same thing with filleting this fish as I do any other fish. I'll start off on one side, and before I take the fillet completely off, I'll flip it over and do the other side, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about right here. Start way up top here, take your knife, and you go right down, right down the spine, just like this, all the way to the tail. And then what I'm gonna do is come back underneath and go right along his lateral line right there, right along his backbone, and I can feel his spine the whole time I'm doing this. Now before I'm done with the filet, I'll do the exact same thing I do with just about any other fish, is I'll turn it over and that way I use the other side of the fish to hold this side of the fish up. Because if I were to take that filet off, there would be a bow in the fish right there and a lot of times you mess up that filet. I'll start on the, start on the back end this time and take it right up the backbone just like this, just underneath the skin all the way to the top of the head come back around just like I did on the other side. And I'm feeling that backbone as I'm coming down underneath that skin. Just feeling the backbone the whole time. I hate wasting meat, especially when you got great fish like this. So I come all the way up to the top of the head as I can to get as much meat as possible. Peel it back and you just keep keep working at it. You know, I've always said, you know, people that clean fish fast, a lot of times they're wasting a lot of meat when they're cleaning fast. But if you see those bones right there, you can hear them, that's his rib bones. A lot of that meat right there, like right in here, this meat, a lot of people will throw away because they'll just come down and, and cut that piece of meat out right there. And that's a lot of meat right there. That's a whole sandwich right there. So that's basically the way I clean a grouper. I'm gonna flip it over, finish this side, and then we're gonna take them up to eat. All right, what's up guys? We're back here at the Boyle Yard. We got John McGinnis, he's a professional chef here. I know it's normally me in front of the camera talking and showing you how to cook stuff, but we brought the professional in here, right here at the, at the Boyle Yard. So he's got them all prepped up. He did it, took his time doing the breading on the fried stuff and the black stuff is what I can't wait. But uh, John, tell us how you're gonna do it, brother. All right, look, so we got the grouper and we got the snapper. We took the cheeks and then we cut down the grouper a little bit and we pinned up the snapper. So we seasoned the, the, for the fried. We're gonna do it with a with an egg wash and, and buttermilk mix. We did a Zatarain's uh, cracker meal, fine grind cracker meal. It's seasoned and then we're gonna blacken it over here on the flat. We're gonna cut it on the flat top. We've topped it up with some Paul Perdome's redfish black and magic. Can't beat it. That's what we're gonna do today. And it's very simple. Don't over season your fish. That's a fact. Especially when you got good fish like snapper and goofy. So, John, I'm ready to eat, brother. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, guys. All right, we're gonna hit that flat top. It's nice and hot. We're just gonna hit it with a little bit of butter. We've already seasoned our grouper and our snapper. And we're just gonna coat this up nice. We want to get it nice so crispy on the outside. We got that want to season up that, that so that blackening season just coats up real good. Just giving it one more quick toss real quick. It dries out a little bit when you do it for a second. So just want to give it a little quick toss. Just bring it back. Now we're gonna drop this down at 350 degrees for just a few minutes. We're just browning it up nice on each side. We want to cook it all the way through and make sure it's 165 degrees. So we got to make sure it's cooked through a good temperature all the way through. Brown it up nice. It's the best thing you'll ever have. All right, guys, we got everything prepared. Or should I say, John has everything prepared. And John here put us on the fish today. So the two Johns, 
have done as well today here at Home Assassin. If y'all ever come, make sure you come to the boiler yard. They will cook your catch, and it's uh, less than 20 bucks a plate, right? Back. Less than 20 bucks a plate, and trust me, guys, I am ready to dig into this. So we're going to dig in. Hope y'all enjoy this as much as we're going to enjoy eating it. We'll, uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Awesome.